Give me a minute and let's talk about fluid situations. I've repeatedly said not to confuse my enthusiasm for Ukrainian successes, despite all the odds, which is why I'm always so enthusiastic, with the idea that this is an easy thing or that this is gonna be a quick war. It's neither of those things. Just this morning, if you didn't see it, I had a, an update on the Avdivka situation that could easily be mistaken for good news. It was a, around a single battle in a single place where the Ukrainians are doing good. Then tonight, Alexand Oleksandr Tarnovsky, the, the Ukrainian Armed Forces commander for the region, comes on to Telegram and says, the Russians have begun the third major wave of assaults on Avdivka. We saw 56 infantry assaults today. You see all those little red arrows? That's all the Russians pushing, pushing, pushing. He said that there were 20 airstrikes. Now, I don't know if that means, you know, two SU-25s or five KH-52 uh, helicopters came in and they unloaded and then another five came behind them and that happened 20 times. Or if just 20 individual aircraft came in, but there were 20 airstrikes against Ukrainian positions in Avdivka today. In addition, the attacks include the use of armored vehicles uh, and a thousand artillery rounds were launched against Avdivka today. This nation is in the fight for its life. You're sitting at home where it's warm and you're well-fed and you're not in a trench and you're sick and tired of hearing about this war. Fuck you. Fuck you. This isn't, you think this doesn't affect your kids? You're fucking wrong. The outcome of this war will determine the future for generations. It will determine where your kids have a chance to go to college, where they can travel safely. It may determine whether or not your kids can afford to go to college because American prosperity depends on European prosperity, make no mistake. And if this thing spills into Europe, there goes European prosperity. Right now, the Ukrainians are doing all the heavy lifting. All they're asking for is a little bit of help from us. We're supposed to be the armory of freedom in the world, God damn it! Enough with just cleaning out the garage. Let's get these people the help that they need so that they can continue to demilitarize our biggest enemy in the world. You can say what you want about China, and China's a threat. I'm not saying that they're not. But China is smarter than Russia. China's a trading partner, and they worry about their economy. Putin threw it all away, right? All the time in the West, we think to ourselves, if we have strong economic ties with a nation, they won't invade, they won't attack, it'll deter war. Not Putin. He tried to blackmail Europe with that gas, with that oil. I will cut it off and you will freeze. That's what he said to Europe if you interfere in Ukraine. Fuck that. Fuck him. Fuck the Russians. And fuck every American that doesn't support Ukraine. You're wrong. You're on the wrong goddamn side of history, just like the America First guys were back in 1930s with Chamberlain and the appeasement. Eh, just give them the Sudetenland. Eh, that'll be okay then. This is not the Sudetenland. And the Ukrainians... I swear to God, they're going to win no matter what we do. But how many of them are we going to let the Russians kill before we stand the fuck up and do what's right? I want to thank Bobby, who's a big supporter of this channel, for sponsoring this video. Thanks, Bobby. I hope you're doing okay.